but do you even know what kind of medications your client is taking and what that's what this video is about because you don't want to get stuck not knowing especially if you're in a meeting if you're trying to advocate for your clients if your client is having adverse side effects you want to Hi, this is Lauren. You're watching Social Work Scrapbook and today's video is about psychotropic medications. If you work with anyone that has mental health illness, uh, mental health issues, if you're working in a clinician's office, in a treatment center, even in schools and you're exposed to anyone that might be on medication, which to be honest, it seems like this population is growing. Social workers do not subscribe. I'm sorry. I want you to subscribe. Social workers do not prescribe medication, but we're stuck in this weird in-between. There's a gap in communication. It's lack of communication that's happening between the psychiatrists, which are the prescribing professionals, and the client. And that's never good. It just means that our clients don't know what they're taking, what it's for. A lot of times they're just suffering through a lot of side effects without any of the gains that this medication is supposed to help or alleviate. And that's where we come in to be the advocate, whether you're in case management as a social worker or you're a clinician and you're working one-on-one -on -one and doing the individual type of counseling with your client. This video is to help you, the social worker, understand what psychotropic medication is and how it looks. If you haven't taken it yourself, it can be a weird, confusing world. Let's get right into medications for depression. And that's what this video is solely going to be about because there are so many. Throughout the video, you're going to see a larger image and that's going to be the generic version of what's in the smaller image, which is the brand version. So amitriptyline is generic for Elevil, which helps balance mood. This next one is very popular, Zoloft of course, and Sertaline is its generic version and what this medication does along with helping with depression is it can also be prescribed for OCD, panic disorder, PTSD, or PMDD which is premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Sedalopram is generic for Celexa and this also helps with depression. It's an SSRI which is a serotonin reuptake inhibitor and what it does is it alleviates depression by affecting your body's level of serotonin which is a chemical in the brain. Duloxetine and Zimbalta are also SSRIs that help depression. Acetylopram and Lexapro are also SSRIs. Deseril is the brand name of what's commonly more prescribed, which is Trazodone, and these are both mood elevators. Venaflaxine and Effexor are SNRIs, which stand for serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, and along with depression, they can be prescribed for any type of anxiety issues, generalized social anxiety or panic disorder. Paxil and Paroxetine increase serotonin in the brain, so they help with depression. Prozac and fluoxetine are SSRIs that help with depression and also OCD, eating disorder, panic attacks, and PMDD. The remaining medication are not commonly known, but they're prescribed for depression and other things, Wellbutrin and Bipurine, Aventil 1, Nortriptyline, also Pristique and Diflaxine, which are SSNRIs that treat depression. Luvox and Fluvoxamine are antidepressants but mainly prescribed for OCD or obsessive compulsive. Norpramin and Desipramin. Parnite and Tranalcipramine are monamine oxidase inhibitors which are also known as MAOIs and these are also used to treat depression. Remeron and Mirtazapine and lastly Tofranil and Imipramine. Imipramine can also be used to treat nighttime bedwetting in children. I know everyone's gonna have their own opinion on whether they're for medication or against medication, whether they think it works or not. Either way, whichever way you lean, it is important to know how these medications look and what they do. There's, as always, a like or share this video if it helps you. Please visit my blog as well. It's socialworkscrapbook.wordpress.com. If you know of any other great social work blogs, vlogs, YouTube channels, please share them below. Thanks so much for watching and thank you for being social workers. Bye-bye. Do social workers have a psychotropic medication class? I don't know. I don't recall one. I took one as a psychology undergrad.